Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving on a northern coastal highway and this highway runs on the north coast of Jamaica, hence the name Northern Coastal Highway. It runs all the way from Portland to Negril. That means it passes through all the major tourist towns on the north coast such as Ocho Rios, Falmouth and Montego Bay which is the second city so it connects and then down to Negril. It connects the airport in Montego Bay to Negril, Falmouth, Ocho Rios and Portland or Port Antonio. So it's a very busy road, it's a well used road and this is actually the longest highway or the longest road in Jamaica because it runs all the way from Negril to Portland, literally the entire north coast. So it runs the length of Jamaica on the north coast. So the government has plans to change this road into four lanes. Now as you can see, if you look on the left, you're going to see the, the shoulder. So when this road was originally designed, it was or when it was laid out it was originally designed to be four lanes but it's a very long road so you know cost factors they decided to start with two lanes but the road is so used that um, they are now trying to get it upgraded to four lanes and when that is done the, the cost of upgrading this road to four lanes going to be the most expensive road project in Jamaican history. It's going to, to be the largest capital expenditure in Jamaican history to convert this road to four lanes. So there are many reasons why. One, well the main reason and why they are announcing it now is that there was a party at a beach called Pearly Beach on the outskirts of Ocho Rios. And for whatever reason, the road became blocked. So people could not get into or out of Ocherios for 68 hours. So a week or two after that incident, the government announced that they were getting the funds together to upgrade this road to four lanes. Now it's an excellent idea because the Highway 2000 project takes you from Kingston to Miami Bay where it connects, where the Highway 2000 or the Edward Siaga Highway connects to the Northern Coastal Highway and then the Northern Coastal Highway will take you from Ocherios essentially to Montego Bay. So if you had a four lane road running all the way from Kingston to Montego Bay, that is an excellent idea. It's going to cost some money but Jamaica needs it in order to keep growing and there are a lot of hotels on the north coast. Okay, another example is Falmouth has the largest cruise ship here in Jamaica. Persons come in, okay, like Falmouth, can, the largest ships in the world can dock at Falmouth. So let's say a ship comes in with 6,000 tours and of course Everybody wants to go to Don's River Falls. It's the number one attraction in Jamaica. Dolphin Cove is number two. So you get on a tour bus and you off to Mon um, Don's River Falls. So it's very important to connect towns like Falmouth to these attractions. It's very important to get from the airport to Ocho Rios in a timely manner and on a good road, which essentially will be a highway. But it's also good for Jamaicans who want to get from Kingston to Montego Bay it will cut the travel time well I don't know if it would really cut it down much but it will definitely help with four lanes so it's a very important project and even though it's going to cost a lot of money it's worth it it's definitely worth it and the highway 2000 project has, it's been done in phases because it's very expensive. Now the Highway 2000 project is different. The high, North South Highway or Edward Siaga Highway which is a part of Highway 2000 
is different from the northern coastal highway it's not a part of it but sometimes the, the when they go for the funding they call it this or that so it confuses people now the northern the highway 2000 is supposed to take you from Kingston to Montego Bay on these on a highway but that highway is going to run from Kingston to Mandeville which and that leg is being built now the Kingston to Maypen leg is finished but the Kingston to the Maypen to Mandeville leg is being built and then from Mandeville basically Williamsfield you're supposed to build a highway from Williamsfield to Montego Bay so basically it will build a highway going on the southern coast and then when you reach when you reach Williamsfield you have a road that takes you over to Montego Bay it's not interfering with this roadway so even if you convert this to four lanes this is, will be the only highway on the north coast and also there's supposed to be a road from Maypen that takes you over to Discovery Bay as part of the Highway 2000 project but those phases of the road haven't been built yet and construction hasn't started on the Williamsfield to Montego Bay leg or the Maypen to Discovery Bay leg but that is what Highway 2000 is now the Northern Coastal Highway is a different highway I don't want anybody to to mix up the two Uh, we're driving into Montego Bay now. I'm not sure if we have entered St. James yet. I think so. to upgrade this road is going to cost money but I mean the soft shoulder is there already it's not like they're going to be digging a new road so I'm not sure maybe it's because of the length of the road why it's going to cost so much maybe because they're going to do the entire road and I don't think they're doing the entire stretch of the road but I guess costs have gone up since they've built this original road but when this road was originally built it wasn't the largest capital expenditure or it wasn't the most expensive road in Jamaica I think before this new project that's coming along I think the north-south highway was probably the most expensive road Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.